Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today video is overview of Microsoft Power Pages. Before starting with the actual video, I would like to congratulate to the Power Platform community on the introduction of the newest family member that is Microsoft Power Pages. So guys, if you have still not heard this news, I would like to break out this news that Microsoft has recently released newest family member that is Microsoft Power Pages. So in this video, what I will do, I will just cover the overview of the Microsoft Power Pages, why it is released, what areas it will cover, how it is different from the existing Power Apps portal, what is the scope of the integration with other our platform products. So all these things, I will give you a high level overview of about Microsoft Power Pages. And in the upcoming videos, we will go through Microsoft Power Pages other concepts in detail. So let's get started. So we'll start with what is Microsoft Power Pages. Microsoft Power Pages is the fifth member of the Power Platform family. Already in the family, we have Microsoft Power Automate, Power Apps, Power Virtual Agent and Power BI. So this is another low code scalable software as a service platform. It will allow us to build external facing websites that is internet facing websites that will work across all the browser and devices using microsoft power pages we will build websites that we can expose it to the internet and those will be scalable and they will work across all the browser and devices if you are closely working with the power platform the first question which should strike you is the why Microsoft has released this product because we were already having Power Apps Portal. With the help of Power Apps Portal also we were developing external facing websites. So the answer is what I feel is Microsoft will discontinue now Power Apps Portal and uh, they have converted this into a, altogether a new product. Earlier this Power Apps Portal was available as part of Microsoft power apps and now microsoft has converted with more powers to it microsoft has make it more stronger more powerful and convert it into a new product so you can say microsoft power pages is a superset of power apps portal you can take it in this way microsoft power pages extends far beyond than what power apps portal used to do that we will see in the upcoming videos now next question is what will happen to the existing power apps portal which are running so the answer is right now as per the Microsoft guidelines, there is no need to upgrade or migrate their existing portal to the Microsoft Power Pages or any other platform. But what we should do immediately, we should stop planning any further projects on Microsoft Power Apps portal. We should not plan any development or any new projects on Microsoft Power Apps portal. Another thing is, this is still under preview. Power Apps pages are still under preview. So Microsoft has released this and then they will look for the feedback and they will further improve it. So what you can do is you, you can create a trial environment on the Microsoft Power Pages and just explore through it. You can find the link to create the trial or the free trial from the description box below. Now before proceeding with the further slides, what I will do, let me take you to the Microsoft Power Pages, how it looks like. So this is the Power Pages preview. You can see this is how it looks like. Using this, the URL will remain the same. If you want to directly move to Power Pages, you can say make.powerpages.com just like we used to browse make.powerapps.com. The same way we can do. Or you can use the link provided in the description box below. Now from here, I can see this option. I can directly create a site from here. And then using the low code features, I can create a responsive, scalable, powerful site that can fulfill all the business needs. I will create a site for you. But before that, let me go to the other slides. Now, next thing is what are the new features in Power Apps Pages? As I said, Power Apps Pages is an extension of Power Apps Portal, but with new features. First is the Design Studio. Microsoft has provided the design studio using which we can create our sites and further design studio has you know split it into further workspaces one is the pages overview one is the pages workspace then style workspace 
data workspace and the setup workspace pages workspace uh, as you can understand it will revolve around creating a pages modifying existing pages style workplace will revolve around styling your website adding themes data workspace will revolve around the data and the setup would be more from the governance point of view now let's do one thing what i will do let me create one site over here using this option create a site i already created this site let me create a new site if i will click on this create a site now over here you can see another feature it provides us the existing template we can use this template all the existing template i can use you can see this either i can go to this all option and can see all the options or i can explore them based on the category for example scheduling scheduling meeting with a financial institution now if you have a requirement which revolve around this particular template you can use this then other templates we have progress tracking application submission and registration so what i will recommend you is to just create a free trial environment over microsoft power pages again as i said link is in the description box below and just explore through it over here let me select this first template next and then you can see uh, the description in the right pane you can see the description about this particular template what i will say choose template and then it is checking the permission as i am the tenant admin so there won't be any issue with the permission let me select the name i will say ds tech mirror and next would be the it will automatically create the web address so i will not try to change the web address i will uh, choose the same what it provide us next i will click on done and it is as easy as you can see to create a website in the in the microsoft power pages now it will do some processing in the background and our site would be ready so it will take few minutes before it will load the site to us over here also you can see the progress what it is doing creating the site component now it is building the site structure then implementing the site style sheet so these are the steps uh, which a microsoft power pages website goes through uh, before it loads checking the permission and now it is finalizing the setup now after this it should be ready for us then we will see how it looks like now my site is ready i can see ds tech mirror demo this is my url it is still giving me this uh, progress bar that is getting your site ready so let me click on this url and let's see and i will try to refresh this page as well so i refresh the page it is still doing some processing in the background it will take some time before the site is ready and when i try to access the url over here here also i am getting the same message getting set up if i try to refresh it again still the message is same so it will take some time meanwhile i will take you through my slides okay next is the design studio so i will uh, cover the design studio in this particular site where the design studio is and i will show you all these different categories next is next important point is i said uh, with the help of power pages we will create responsive websites and the reason being it is based on the bootstrap now all the seasoned developer must be aware about the bootstrap it help us to build responsive websites so my power pages would be built on bootstrap at the center of the microsoft power pages we have microsoft data words for the database or for the data for storing the data and as we know it is a smart secure and scalable low code data platform now whatever data we have in dataverse we can share that data with the help of power pages next power pages runs on microsoft azure and connect with dataverse this i covered and another very important point is as we are mentioning it regularly this is a low code platform this is a low code platform but still all the requirements all the real time business requirement cannot be fulfilled with the help of just low code platform there would be scenarios where we would like to extend the functionality and for that we have our old friend our savior visual studio code now we can use visual studio code or microsoft power platform cli to extend the functionalities using javascript liquid templates code components and other web apis so again i will cover all these things in the upcoming videos 
So the points which I have covered, if I try to have a quick recap, this is a super site of the Power Apps portal. It released with new features like Design Studio. We can use Visual Studio Code. At the center, we are having Dataverse. We can share our data stored in Dataverse with the help of Microsoft Power Pages. And then it helps us to create responsive websites. Last point which I have is about, about the integration with the Microsoft Power Platform other components. So we can easily integrate this Power Pages with the other components. First, we have the Dataverse. At the center of the Microsoft Power Pages, we have Dataverse. We can easily expose our data. So it, the integration is very much feasible. Next, Power App, Feasible, Power Automate. So what Power Automate will do, it will help us to define the business logic to create workflows with the help of Power Automate we can do. Power BI, all the dashboard reports which we have in Power BI, we can embed it inside Power Pages and Power Virtual Agent with the help of which we create our powerful chatbot. We can embed our chatbot in the Power Pages as well. So integration is there. We can easily integrate Microsoft Power Pages with the other component of Power Platform. So it is a very good feature which Microsoft is providing. And uh, as you know, we cannot without integration as a standalone product, I don't think so we can uh, create some rich business useful websites. Definitely, we would be needing the help of other powerful component because if I want to do the reporting, I need Power BI. If I want to create some business logic without using any code, I can take help from Power Automate. I have a chatbot. Now, I have a chatbot. I want to expose it. Why, why can't I uh, display it on a website? So, yes, I can do that. So, integration is there. Definitely, it's there. Now, before closing today's session, let's see if our site is ready. It should be. Let me refresh it. It is taking more and more time. Let me refresh the other tab as well. Yes, so site is ready. Here you can see trial site. It will expire in 30 days. So site is ready. Uh, let's see how it will look like. We have used the template. We can create the site from scratch as well. So I have used a template called scheduling template. So guys, this is the site which is getting launched. And now welcome to institution name, book an appointment, book now. It is giving us the default functionality which are available with the template. Let's see how we can edit it. So if I go over here and here you can see the option to edit. If I click on edit, now it will open in edit mode. This was the preview mode. Or I can say this, this is how our site will look like. So now this will open in the edit mode and from here I can edit everything. I can edit my institution name. So this, uh, this is one of the page which I'm having in my website. I can say welcome to DS Tech Mirror. And as I'm done, I can click on sync and let me try to refresh it. I want to go to the home page. So let me just go back. It is the home page and let me try to refresh it. And you can see the changes. Welcome to DS Tech Mirror. So with the help of this edit mode, what I can do, I can create different pages in this site. I can modify the content of the pages. I can add images. I can do a number of things. This is a, there's a vast limit or vast capabilities which Power Pages are providing. So we can do and we will see those things step by step. Coming to the uh, design studio, I said in the left, you can see all the different categories, pages, over here, if I click on pages, I would should be able to work with pages. You can see these are the default pages which got created because I choose an out of the box template. Then other pages are there. I can create pages from here. Then styling. If I click on styling, uh, you can see I can select the color palette. I can select the fonts, themes, site navigation. So anything related to the styling of this particular site will come on the styling tab data so over here i can work with the dataverse tables i can modify them i can fetch the data but subjective to the permissions you have then final is the governance is related to the permission which would be a very important uh, session when i will start covering it so this would be really important regarding the permission so guys this is uh, just an overview of the power pages 
so i hope you liked it and i will recommend you to start exploring it just create a free website or trial website over here and just see what all the other options we have and then definitely we will also go through all the topics in detail so guys thank you for watching today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till my next video much love keep learning